Well guys, in this video I will show you how to get highest FPS and lowest input delay in any game you want to play. It will work on Windows 10, also Windows 11. Download this in the description. After you download this folder named Ultimate PC Tweak, here you can see some folders. We will start with cleaning our computer and device cleanup. This will lower our input delay because we will remove every unused device. So click devices, select all devices and remove selected. After, um, if you don't see any device here, it means everything is cleaned. Delete uh, logs, um, this really help um, if you will get more space on disk and also improve some performance. After you see, if you press any key to continue, click enter and it means everything is clean. Now click clean up manager, click OK, select your disk and here you need to select what you want to delete. So I recommend you check everything and click OK and delete files. Um, it will take a while and after it hide it means it's applied. Windows performance tweaks, turn off game bar, make sure this is checked to off. Transparency effects, also off, pause updates, click pause updates for 7 days because you can manually update it, you don't need automatically updates. Store update, go to the free dots, settings and here make sure this is on off. Automatically updates map to off, I, do, I have debloated PC so I don't have these settings but find uh, update maps and set it to all. Disable hibern hibernation power saving feature and rebuilding performance counters also increasing our performance. Disable background apps, go to uh, make sure this is on off. Window setting tweaks, this is some basic tweaks which is which can do really good improvement in our PC. Remove startup apps, if you don't want, for example, Opera run on startup, I recommend you check, set it to off. Restart apps off. Make sure this is on off. Singer settings. I also don't have this feature, but set sync to off. And make sure every of these toggle boxes are checked to off. Click adjust for best performance, but I recommend you use my settings here. Check only these three boxes, click apply and OK. Debloat app, if you use one of these applications, here is the debloating guide, which is uh, improve your performance in the application and make it more smooth. Remove delay, device manager, here uh, is what we need to disable, so go to right click on the windows icon. Go to device manager and go to system devices and find this. So remote desktop device. Where is it? Uh, if you don't see the the device here, just continue to other system speaker. Okay, I want the system timer, ambush root emulator. So I have checked, uh, I have everything of the, on this off. There are another, and they are composite bus emulator, disabled direct memory access. I don't have it. I purchase an event timer, this is the must have disabled. Microsoft hyperware. Yeah, I don't see it here. Wait, wait I need. I can. Okay. Um, microsystem system management BIOS. There is disabled and virtual drive. Microsoft virtual drive emulator disabled. Close this. And make sure you okay, go to back 
find your USB. Uh, where is it? Right click on it, properties, power management, and make sure this is unchecked. Um, this is simply tweaks which disable um, some features and optimize our performance. Also, this will lower our FPS a bit, but really help in input delay. Disable registry files. This is tweaks which only disabling some features which we don't need, like Firefox update, Nagle algorithm, throttling, and some services. Yeah, here if you have 16 gigabits, run this. If you have 8 gigabits, like me, run this. System config tweaks. Um, for me, I, I have developed a PC, so this don't work for me. But if you have it, here is the settings. Run tweaks. Run it as administrator. After it height, it means it's applied. MSI utility. Run as administrator. Make sure every of this box is checked. Find your GPU, um, Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and USB and set it to high. Click apply and close it. The last cooling. Download MSI uh, Afterburner, which has um, GPU overclocking software, and we can lower our temperatures with it. And I really recommend you. Okay. Here is the guide, so after we install it, um, open this, I don't want this, so I will click cancel, and uncheck show readme and click finish. Here we can see what we need to do, and here we need to click to settings. to fun and enable it so go to here fun enable and here we need to drag it to forty so this and run it to forty like this Second to seventy. And fifty here. Good. The another for eighty eight and eighty. So eighty eight and eighty. And click apply and ok make sure you click this and minimize it and it's all from this pack i hope guys you like this video subscribe my channel bye